Hey, I got the uh, Depinto out for a minute. I bring this one to uh, solo gigs and uh, surf zombie gigs. If I break a string, this guy's ready to go for surf zombies, but I can get through a um, solo show with this just fine. It's pretty hot pickups compared to the Jaguar. Seem to be a lot louder. I did break my Jaguar the other night, so I broke this out, and uh, it was pretty good. It's got a little different feeling neck, and it seems like it's about super long. I don't measure guitars, though, so I don't really know. <laughs> it's a big, long guitar. So, I got a shape, another shape. Let's pick up, pick the right pickup here. Neck pickup, all right. Let's do a shape that's uh, minor. Remember how we did all those majors? To make the minor, we're just gonna flat the third interval. The C sharp, if we flat it, it becomes a C. So the chord is uh, A, C, E, A. That's a pretty good shape. <laughs> and when you mix it with major and minor, it's pretty cool. So what I did there was A minor. Picking one, two, three, one, two, three, kind of a six, eight feel. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then I took it up to D minor. Knowing that the root is the 12th fret, 4th string. So when you hit that root, you know you're in the right place. I mean, that's really how it works. Knowing your root, and just slap the shape in there and you're good. Select a minor. Because we want that kind of icy, cool, dark mood. Major is bright. Minor is more tragic. So that's your A minor to a D minor. You could go to E minor, D minor, E minor, but make it major on the last time. So you drop, you uh, raise it from minor to major. That's the five chord. We're doing a one, four, five. The five sounds pretty good major because of this uh, G sharp. The, the major third of the E. That pulls our ear to the A. It just sounds kind of, it leads us to the A. Just a little, a little musical trick that happens. It's not uh, unheard of. Um, so take that minor and step it up to a major in the appropriate place. It, it will sound amazing. Um, if you put it in at an odd place, it will sound odd. So we just got to find that good, you know, use for them to contrast the major or the minor to the major. And to me, it works good on the five. So again, it's a one, four, five, one, four, five, four, one, one, four, five, four, one, one, four, five. 
if you did them down here, not to get too far off topic, just to kind of reinforce that A minor, D minor, E or E7, which is major, pulls you back to the A minor. Okay, so main thing is just know the difference between a major and a minor. We're just taking a hunk of an A minor bar chord. Skip the three fat strings and just play the three skinnies. Four skinnies. <laughs> Skip the two fat strings, play four skinny strings. Or just three skinnies. Or you can always do just two strings. Missed. Okay, you get the idea. So get into your minor chords, move them around the neck, and we should. We'll talk about mixing them in with uh, the majors a little more. That's important to be able to uh, control that. You can really control the overall sound. It's like you're the puppet master, not the puppet, you know. You control. You make the choice. You can almost hear it coming. So you'll, yeah. And uh, it's very handy for figuring out songs. Um, yesterday, a student had an idea for a video game song or a video game theme or some, some anime theme, which terrifies me. And I listen to it, and I, I'm like, all right, that's definitely A, or definitely C sharp minor, A, B, F sharp minor. I could, without touching my guitar, I was 100% sure those were the chords. And then I, I proved it to her that those are the chords, and she was pretty, you know, she's just like, all right, good. She wasn't really impressed, but, uh, you know. I came through with the goods. I could tell what was minor and major. I could hear the root. So really, that's the s. That's the essential thing. Hear the root. You can just visualize it, and then uh, determine if it's major or minor. Figure out the pattern of chords, and uh, play them. So that's why we do a lot of training, a lot of listening, a lot of shapes. A lot of finding the root. Mixing the majors and minors. So anyhow, we'll do more of that. I'll try not to go on and on here. So let's uh, end the video with uh, a word of thanks. And uh, we'll see you soon.